So there's trash on the beach. How bad is it that there's too much trash being disposed of or being ended up in the woods or washed on the beach? It's actually one of the worst things ever. If you don't take care of your trash, it'll end up anywhere. It'll be a form of pollution. It'll be a threat to natural ecosystems pretty much in every way you can imagine. It needs to be better controlled to reduce trash, not only to control it, but to reduce it. We can recycle more materials. With more trash bins, I believe, there will be less direct littering. If you just look around and take a good nature walk, you'll see a lot of trash on the ground, but you'll see that a lot of people probably either have a full trash pocket or they're just too lazy to find a trash bin, which is what I admire about Disney parks is that they have a lot of trash bins, so there's no littering. They're no more than 30 feet away. That's a reasonable distance. What I believe is don't tell people to stop littering, make them. Not forcibly, but encourage them. Don't just put up signs. Actually put up more trash bins. And if you don't secure trash at the dump, it'll end up everywhere by wind, by storm, by lots of methods. It's very hard to get rid of the trash that gets away because it scatters all over. And products, they just contain too much waste that aren't degradable. How undegradable? Things can stay up there for many years in the ocean and it's better just pick them up and get, get them back in the dumper somewhere. Pollution in the ocean in this form, it lasts a very, very long time. And trash in the environment can poison, choke, trap animals and plants. It can get stuck in their digestive tract and cause them to starve. Mass extinction could occur and if ecosystems are destroyed from all this trash, it'll be less habitable for everyone on this planet. So it's not like a small issue. If you don't take care of trash, you're actually putting the world at risk. So imagine that as you're at home, try to get in your car, it doesn't work because there's a big chunk of plastic in it and you're eating lunch, salad, whatever. One week later, you're in the hospital getting surgery because there's a piece of glass in your stomach that's causing you to not digest food. And you're walking in the woods and you're almost being choked by a plastic ring. That's what littering does to animals. Recycling, it's a very good thing, but it needs to be more available if you want to solve this trash issue. Like at my school, there's a recycling bin in pretty much every classroom. Problem with them, they're not real recycling bins because the teachers, the custodians just dump them in the trash. There should be a more official system of recycling at my school and must be more efficient because the recycling system at my home only picks up once a month. It's ridiculous. We make more recyclable waste than enough to fill a bin this big once a month. And should be encouraged and forced more. So it's just an overview of how plastic recycled, it's sorted, stored, cleaned, and made into more products. The beauty thing is you can just do it over and over again, why I, which is the reason why the recycling symbol is shaped like a circle and it just keeps going on. We need to recycle more materials. Pretty much anything made of plastic is recyclable. This bag, probably not all of its contents, but the bag itself can be recycled to make more bags. Plastic, metal, glass, paper, machines, batteries, even if it's made of metal and plastic, still recycle it. And we don't need to recycle just because we get a five cent refund for can or bottle. 
to the right of which line is everything available for, for recycling? The answer is the green line. You surely don't want to run into a used diaper in a recycling plant. I um, don't feel like explaining why. Bread is biodegradable. You can compost it. Water recycles by itself, but that doesn't mean you can leave your sink running. How can we recycle more? Hold recyclables in containers, like there's a space behind my patio at my house. Loads of stuff waiting to be recycled. Find some recycling plants and machines, like those five cent machines. And there should be a lot of places, in my opinion, that have drop-offs for recyclables. Reduce what we buy. Don't buy stuff that has lots of wrappings, like two loaves of bread that I get at Shaw's. Each loaf is individually wrapped, and those individual wraps are wrapped again. Lots of plastic. And buy green. As we mean, like, by actual green containers, like by biodegradable items. Bottom line, recycle more items. And this isn't exactly recycling, but participate in wildlife trash cleanups because this is how much trash we can clean up. These are reusable utensils. That's all the trash just from a couple hours of coast sweeping. Tiny pieces of recyclable materials. Lots of them are found. These are all other statistics and how companies can recycle more, not just individual people. Filter out recyclables off of trash. And this gets me thinking of the scene in Toy Story 3 where there's a giant magnet collecting metals from the trash load. I think that's good because it'll filter out things you can recycle. Using less materials and packaging, like don't use so much plastic wrap for food. Biodegradable packaging. I remember seeing a bag of sun chips that said, the bag crinkles louder because it's compostable. I think that's a genius idea. Some people are investing in a, a tube scrubber that'll reduce air pollution. I don't think why it should be available filtering for all sorts of pollution. Now, as I conclude, we're just producing and throwing away too much trash. Way too much trash. At this rate, we could easily slip into the Wally sort of future. And we end up going to space and getting fat. <laughs> Don't let that happen. You can, anyone can clear trash in their local area. There's so much trash out there. Well, if you take a nature walk, be sure to keep an eye out for litter, because you're bound to find loads of it, and toss it out. And think before you toss something away. I'm not just going to trash this. Is it recyclable? Is it compostable? Is it reusable? Is it donatable? And convince others what we need to do is spread the word about recycling.